Hey everybody, it's Gladys with Redux Styles, and I want to talk a little bit today about creating costumes from what you already have in your closet. And this is especially true when you're around Halloween. You may want to dress up to hand out candy. You may have a party to go to. You may just like to dress up in a costume. But you can also use this anytime you have any kind of a costume party to attend. So the first thing you want to do is take a look at what's already in your closet and try to start coming up with some ideas of what you could be. If you know specifically you want to dress as a certain character or something specific, then you're gonna need to search your closet and see what you can come up with that you already have and then hit the thrift store to find other things. But if you open it up just a little bit and go, well, what have I got that maybe I could be? Then you may start coming up with some more ideas and figuring out ways to do it. So in this video, I am going to walk you through five different costumes I created out of stuff in my closet. Nothing was bought new. Everything was put together from what I already had on hand. And I hope that it inspires you to come up with some ideas of your own. First up is a surfer girl. She is ready to hit the waves wearing a rash guard, board shorts, and flip-flops. A surfboard would be a great prop, but a bodyboard is smaller and would still convey the idea of someone who is headed out ready to hit the waves. Next is a black cat. Easy to do by dressing in all black. I've got a black long sleeve shirt, black slacks, and black shoes. I've added a choker to represent a collar, and even a ribbon tied around a neck would do. I've pulled my hair back with a headband, and you can make ears from cardboard and attach to give yourself a more feline appearance. If you take the idea of a black cat, so you wear all black and try to dress yourself up, decorate yourself up to being a cat, you can apply that to maybe you want to be a brown dog. You could also take it to where if you want to be the devil, you dress in all red and do the same tip with a headband and add some horns to it and play it up that way. Maybe you want to wear all white and you could be a ghost or you could be an angel if you add some wings that you could just cut out of some paper you've got around the house just to give the idea, hey, I'm, I'm an angel with wings. So think about things like that, about colorful things that could lead you to create a costume from there. Another idea is a private detective as seen in an old movie. A button down shirt, slacks, and a trench coat are the clothes, while props include a magnifying glass as well as a pad of paper and a pen to take down notes. I've pulled my hair back in a low ponytail, and if you have a hat, that would be a good accessory to add. But be careful. Don't give away our location, or we may not solve the mystery. Next is a pirate. Arg! I've taken a men's button-down shirt and turned under the collar and rolled up the sleeves. I've paired it with a black skirt and black sandals. I've tied a scarf around my waist, put a bandana over my hair, and piled on a bunch of gaudy costume jewelry. Of course, the perfect prop for this is a rum bottle. Mine is empty, but you may choose to fill yours. And finally, we have a librarian. I am wearing a top and cardigan that is buttoned up, slacks, and sensible shoes. I've put my hair up and added my reading glasses, and a small stack of books is the perfect add-on. Whatever you do, be sure and return your books on time so you don't get into trouble. So I hope this gave you some ideas on costumes you can create for Halloween or anytime you need a costume. If you're not coming up with something in your wardrobe, please visit the thrift store first. 
and see what they've got there and what you might be able to find either in a costume already made or in pieces you can put together into a costume because if it's things you're going to wear the rest of the year, that just makes it that much more valuable and that much less that you have to go buy. I hope you're inspired to try to create your Halloween costume or any other costume you need from clothes already in your closet. So until next time.